Step 3. Grip both hands this time. Stand tall. No pressure. Balance the club gently, and extend the arm action into the finish position. The club feels like a feather. Weight is going right foot to left foot. In the finish position. Elbows are pointing towards the target. Left elbow is pushing towards right elbow. Very important, radius reduces from waist level up. Rod easily passes over your head. From waist level up, you're in your own swing plane. Repeat the action a couple of times, then get to waist to waist level. Just balance the club waist to waist. Feel the control of the home swing trainer. Don't force the club path. The radius is fully extended from waist to waist. Extend the motion and go to the backswing. Don't force. Let the club travel the way it wants to. Again the radius reduces from waist level up. You're in your own swing plane. When at top of backswing. Left arm is relaxed. No tension. Hands are at shoulders level. Right elbow is pointing down. Push right elbow towards left elbow. On the way down check, the radius is fully extended at waist level. Radius reduces from waist level up and down. You're in your own swing plane from waist level up and down. Hands are high. You do not shorten the arc. Rod easily passes overhead. Repeat these actions a few times. You don't have to be an expert golfer to get the motion. You can now have a complete action with both hands. Before going further in the swing let's take a look at technique, basics and fundamentals.